Hi, welcome to Imagine with Illuminar. My name is Ellie and I challenged my mom to a do-it-yourself cat fashion show and I'm gonna show you the process so you can do it too. Hi mom. Hello. I'm calling you from Brooklyn all the way to Wisconsin and I wanted to call you halfway across the country to do a fun little cat fashion show challenge. Yeah, um, you are uh, very good with Halloween costumes. You're the best in the family at it. But we'll see, maybe the skills translate to cats. Yeah. I chose to have us do cats because we both happen to have two cats. Uh, but anyone else can do this with dogs. I know you've got plenty of dogs there. My brothers have dogs. Uh, yeah. But if anyone else has a bearded dragon or a snake and they can get a costume on it, it works for any pet. But we're gonna use our cats. So you have two old cats. Can you show us your cats? This is Ricky. He's very attentive because he thinks he's getting food. He's old, he's about 12 and a half. I adopted him and his, his partner, Raleigh. About two and a half years ago, they were 10 years old. They were seniors. Um, and then you also have Raleigh. Raleigh is oh, sleeping Raleigh. somewhere, right? There he is. Hi, Raleigh. Okay, so since Robert. you showed us your cats, I will show you my cats. You've seen my cats plenty. In fact, they've lived with you before. They've lived with Ricky and Raleigh. All right, this is Clifton. Clifton is 20 pounds. He's almost four. Here's Roger. Okay, Roger is Clifton's twin and soulmate. They're litter mates. I got them when they were super, super young. You helped me, we bottle fed them. They lived in my tub. Now they are just very sociable, sweet cats. So, since we have met the contestants, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over how we're gonna do this. So we are going to make costumes for our cats with found materials. So things that are already lying around our house that we could recycle or reuse or repurpose to be outfits. So the outfits will consist of one article of clothing and then one accessory. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hang up, we're going to take 20 minutes, we're going to collect all of our found materials, uh, search all around the house, I'll search all around my apartment. We will reconvene in 20 minutes, we will share what we found, uh, and maybe we'll share some of our, our ideas, what we think we can use these things as, so we can also give other people ideas of how they can use materials. Sound fun? All right. Okay, I will let you go and we'll meet back in 20 minutes. Hello again. Hello. Okay, so you have collected Ricky. a bunch of materials from all over your home. Ricky is still into this. <laughs> so let's share some of what we found. I think it'll help give other people ideas. Maybe it'll help us keep an edge on each other. So what's some stuff that you found? So I have a bunch of these sleeves that I cut off of t-shirts that are very appropriate for putting over animals' heads. So I have a whole bunch of those in different colors. That's very smart. So in my home, we don't like to get rid of a lot of our paper products. So we save like our napkins, our tissue paper, uh, the wrapping around toilet paper rolls. So I have a lot of those things. Like I have a lot of little thin napkins. And then I have this piece of paper that came in a package. I have, this is actually what my toilet paper comes in. It's got a cute little wrapping. Um, I have, this came in packing. Um, I have, Foil. There's always foil folded up in our cupboard. Same. Um, that here. <laughs> I'm finding tons of stuff like uh, um, jewelry, string, and ribbons that, yep, that I have no need for under normal circumstances. So it was in a box of craft things um, that can use to tie things together or, or simply to keep something on them. I went to uh, your little brother's room. Now your little brother's 17, so most stuff in there he doesn't really care about anymore. And I have a bunch of little patches, maybe to use as decorations. I have something sort of similar. This fell off of one of my lights, um, and it's just a little flower. But I guess sort of in the same way you liked the patches, I thought these would be a fun decoration, just little bottle caps. These are some little compostable produce bags, and we've actually been putting our compost in them, but why why not put a cat in it? I have some string that fell out of one of my sweatshirts, toilet paper rolls, classic. Oh, and then a coffee filter. Maybe it could be a hat for a cat. I thought this was funny. I think you'll think this is funny, Mom. 
This is the uh, a backup filter for that came with my Roomba. I think it could be used once in a costume and then once as a filter. I don't think I'll need them, but these are the ends of all of my little incense. Yeah, let's see if you can see them there. Oh, wow. Oh, and then I thought maybe this would be fun to add. So Clifton has a favorite toy. He has two of them. Well, one of them he has like totally pulled apart. <laughs> but he loves it so much. There's a cute little bell at the end. I thought maybe this could be part of his outfit. So that's a lot of my supplies. Do you have any other ones? Um, I have this bag that um, some sheets came in, a little Velcro nice. bag, window tape, and electrical tape everywhere. And mm -hmm. this is good not just to tape things together, but to, to use to mark things and write things with and stuff like that. So the next step is, uh, now that we have done our 20 minutes of house searching, of material finding, we shared some ideas with each other. So then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hang up, we're gonna take one hour, just one hour, I'm gonna hold you to that. And we're going to try to make costumes for our pets. The costume will consist of one article of clothing and one accessory. And of course, uh, I always wanna reiterate that we are keeping their comfort first. I know that you know that. We're not gonna do anything that makes them unsafe or upset. Um, if they don't like it, then we'll just try something else. Okay. Okay, I will call you back in an hour, okay? All right, honey. Hi. Hello. Okay, so you finished? I'm finished. Oh, sure, good. Okay, so first, <laughs> I really wanna see your costumes. And maybe you can tell me how you made them and what you made them out of. Um, so the first thing I did is I made <clears throat> the bully here a little knight costume. So I cut up the red t-shirt, see the, mm. the sleeve, and I just cut part of the back, and the back has a little Ricky crest on it. So you put it over his head, and then I use a black shirt sleeve, and I just use some foil, and this will slip on like a belt. And then he has a little spear that will slip right inside his belt. So he has a little shield put over his head. This one I laughed when I put it on him. So this is his chain mail for his head. Right. <laughs> With his chain mail. He looks great! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> right. Look at your, look at your little belt buckle. What do you think? It's amazing, and he can move pretty well too, it looks like. Oh yeah. He looks good. I could totally tell that that's a night costume. Since our rules were one article of clothing and one accessory, I knew that you would do more than that, so I also did more than that. So my first costume was for Clifton, my big orange tabby. I made him a conductor for an orchestra. So you can see the base is a little bag, some little sleeve holes here. These are little papers for his tail, and of course, a boutonniere. My cute little polka dot toilet paper wrapping made a really great bow tie oh. <laughs> and some little cuffs. And then what is a conductor without a baton? So I got him a baton. He was already playing with it, already practicing. But I, just in case he wants to carry it, I can tie it. We've got his bow tie right here, a little boutonniere. With his bow tie, he looks adorable. He looks like he's ready to go for a, to a wedding. Yes, he does. OK, so. what do you do for Raleigh? So um, Raleigh's just the sweet boy, because I'm making him a Boy Scout. So this is a, um, a sleeve that I cut off of his t-shirt that I've had, and I put two little holes in it to put his arms through. Then I made the sash with all the... I should clarify that uh, me and all of my siblings grew up in a program similar to the Scouts, so we do have some fun sort of Scout-like patches that we can use. And then the last thing I made him was, was a little kerchief. Is that also out of a t-shirt? Yeah, just a t-shirt sleeve. Oh, good job! Look at you. Look at your little scarf. You just gonna sit there? You I like this. You this costume, Mom. Use this for Halloween. Um, and then for Roger's costume. So I told you that I really wanted to use Clifton's favorite toy, the little mouse. So I couldn't figure out how to use it in Clifton's costume. So why don't I just make Roger into that toy? It's just the same little pattern red and white stripes, and then the actual tail. And I made him little blue mouse ears. Oh, the ears are good. He likes it now because the toy's attached to him. Ta-da! This was a cat fashion show challenge. 
I would like for some of our family members to decide a winner. So it is the evening after the Cat Fashion Show and I sent the pictures and the videos of all the costumes over to our immediate family. That's my two brothers, my sister-in-law, my dad, and my partner, and they each put in their vote for which cat costume they thought was best. Ricky won with three of five votes, making my mom this Cat Fashion Challenge winner. But I had so much fun anyway. I'm so glad I got to spend the morning with my mom being creative, having some fun competition and bonding again, even though we're so far away during this time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends.